In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the labor rate variance. So let's say that your company manufactures soccer balls, and your management has set the following standards where you believe you should pay $17 an hour for direct labor, and that the company should use 0.5 direct labor hours, or basically half an hour, 30 minutes, of direct labor to make one soccer ball. Okay, so every time you make a soccer ball, it should take 30 minutes of direct labor. Now, during the period, in terms of what actually happens, the company paid $160,000 for 8,000 hours of direct labor. So that's act what actually happened. And then the company produced 14,000 soccer balls from that. Okay, so now the, I like to set it up when I go to do the, the variance, the rate variance. I like to set it up like this. We've got actual hours times the actual rate, and then the actual hours times the standard rate. And then I also put standard hours times standard rate, but we, we don't need that to calculate the rate variance. That'll be for the efficiency variance. So for our labor rate variance, we want to compare these two. Okay, so the actual hours times the actual rate, and the difference between that and the actual hours and the standard rate, that is going to be our rate variance. Okay, so let's go with the actual hours. We have 8,000 hours. Okay, that's our AH right here. We have 8,000 hours. That's the actual amount of direct labor hours. Well, we're going to multiply that by the actual rate. Okay, this is the standard rate of $17. We're not given the actual rate, but we can divide the 160,000 that we actually paid for 8,000 hours of labor. That's if you take the 160 and divide it by 8, that's $20 an hour. So, we'll multiply that by 20. And then we've got the 160,000. Or if you just want to jump right to 160,000 and ignore this, that's fine, but I like to write it out. So, we got 160,000 over here. Okay, now, actual hours times standard rate. Well, the actual hour, that's just this. We just carry that over. So that's going to be 8000 Now, the standard rate of direct labor is $17 an hour. Remember, that's set by management. So that's $17. Now, what is 8000 times 17 That is $136,000. Okay, so I'm just all I did was just multiply these two numbers right here together. So now what we do is we look at the difference between the 160,000 and the 136. We see that it is $24,000. That is our rate variance. Now, the question is, is our labor rate variance favorable or unfavorable? Well, let's think about it. So our standard, according to management, is that we should pay $17 an hour for direct labor. That's what we should be paying. So we in fact paid $20 an hour. So we overpaid. We paid too much. So we would say this is an unfavorable labor rate variance. Why would this occur? Maybe it was the case that we had some orders where we had to have people uh, work overtime. Maybe some of our staff had to work overtime. And so we paid them a higher wage uh, for the overtime hours. Or it could be that we had some highly skilled people uh, that were actually doing the direct labor and they get paid at a higher wage rate than the less skilled people and we hadn't anticipated that these highly skilled people would actually be doing the direct labor or something like that whatever the case the labor rate variance is indicating that that we paid too much for the labor and we should go and investigate further